name is Melissa. I have everybody call me Mel for short. I am vlogging today because I want to invite you on my mommy makeover journey. I am driving to work right now, so I have a little bit of time that I can talk to you. So let me start by giving a little bit of background. I am 47 years old and I have three children. I have a 28 year old, a 26 year old, and my youngest is 18. I have four grandchildren. Yes, I'm a grandma. So I wanted to vlog about my mommy makeover journey because there aren't a lot of videos with the older uh, mommies. And I hope that some of the information that I have or my journey might help somebody else. I've watched hundreds and hundreds and it seems like thousands of videos about mommy makeovers. And there are quite a few similarities uh, and there are some differences. And I have captured uh, or written down quite a few things that I think will help me out on my journey. So I'm going to be having a full tummy tuck with muscle repair and also a breast lift um, and augmentation. I am about one week out for my pre-op and so I've already gone to two consultations with two different surgeons. The first surgeon that I went to, I uh, heard a few good things. I did a lot of research and I thought they were nice. The office staff was great. The physician or surgeon was uh, nice and everything went well. I didn't have a good result as far as the response time. For questions that I had after the consultation. So that worried me a little bit because if that was going to be the scenario after surgery, if I had questions or needed to get a hold of them, that was a little worrisome that I wouldn't have a good response time. So I had another consultation with another surgeon who is uh, definitely board certified. The office staff was wonderful. I felt super comfortable. Uh, the, the surgeon uh, I also felt super comfortable with. And I decided um, after a lot of thought to go ahead and go with the second one. So I think that for me, the reason why I decided to do the mommy makeover, actually I decided about 17 years ago. So I had gained quite a bit of weight with all three of my kids. I lost some of the weight, but the last, uh, my 18 year old, the last child, after her, I didn't lose as much weight as I had hoped initially. Then I got super serious and decided, okay, I don't like the way that I look and I put a diet and exercise program in place. I did it all natural, so eating right and exercising, going to the gym, uh, did Zumba classes, and I lost 100 pounds. I was super excited about that. Um, I, I felt great, and uh, over the last 17 years I have been in maintenance the maintenance portion I think losing the weight was it was still hard but I think that was the easier part uh, than the maintenance <laughs> the maintenance has been uh, a little bit hard I've fluctuated uh, you know maybe 20 pounds here or there but for the most part I've stayed pretty stable especially for the last 10 years so, because I lost 100 pounds um, and doing the, the gym, I 
you know, I'm pretty active. I've done some 5K runs. Uh, I, I install my floors at my house. I do all kinds of home projects. I do my own lawns. So I'm, I'm pretty active. I'm not sedentary. But, of course, as you mommies know, that if that can only go so far, you still, after, especially after losing 100 pounds, you still have the abdominal fold, the skin that stays there, that you can't get rid of no matter how many sit-ups you do. And, uh, of course, that definitely uh, is something that is frustrating. So basically, in a nutshell, I want my body to look like it did prior to having kids. I, I, don't get me wrong, I definitely take, took the battle wounds, scars from each of my children uh, in stride. But now, now that I've taken care of my kids, they're pretty much all adults and now I'm ready to take care of me. So I'm hoping that that you will walk on this journey with me. Uh, again, I, know, I realize there's going to be a lot of uh, similarities, um, but I believe that there will be uh, several differences and I hope those differences will help somebody else out on their journey. So again, my name is Mel. I look forward to uh, vlogging more with you. And after my pre-op appointment, I will vlog again to let you know what all occurred. I do know that I will be choosing my, uh, my CC size for my breast augmentation. And I will be doing some lab work will definitely keep you updated. I'm a little bit nervous, not so much nervous, uh, I'm getting a little bit more excited as the days pass, but my surgery is still about 27, 28 days away. So I still have some time and I will go through uh, on my next video, I'll go through all of the things that I did purchase. I'm pretty much ready. Um, I'll go through all of those things with you and talk about my pre-op appointment and what I decided to go with. So I look forward to 